Hello guys, so say you see this font somewhere and you really love it, you like to have this font. Yet you don't know the name of the font, this is what you're going to do. You will know the name and you will download it. Let's get into it. You move right here to this website, whatfontes.com. When you get here, what you're going to do is to move over to where your file is located. I have this option and that option. I pre-downloaded it, but let's go for this, all right? Drag and drop. And you are going to be asked to wait, wait. The site is going to find ways to identify the font. All right, so this is the font we have here. We want to skew it down. All right, so let's select this and then make sure we take out as much distraction as possible. So this is fine. Now let's hit, now let's take this away. All right, now let's hit on next step. So on next step, you are going to be given two options. The first option is the one the, the set recommends and the one you can choose. Let's go for this. Now you, you see there are two options right here. One is this, you can actually key in this and you would have a chance of finding it. Uh, there's an option here, display only free for to know. Display all fonts, that's what we want to do. So you want to go back to previous step because we skipped a step. Maybe we double clicked. Sometimes it happens. So just click on previous step. Now it will bring you back to this place where you can actually split the fonts because the fonts are joined. Now if they are not joined, you can just continue, all right? But they were joined, that's why we come back. So let's click and drag as displayed here. Click and drag click and drag so we can have it separated all right now we click on next step now it takes us here where we have the options to identify the font so let's click on this this is a lowercase e so you enter a lowercase e this is a lowercase s do same and do same and then this is a lowercase y so do same now let's hit next you probably need just three or, or five just three is even enough so let's hit on next step and wait all right so it gives you the closest options right here all right let's take our time and go through it all right so gives you the closest options the closest options right here, none of them so far matches the font we have here. So what do you do? We try again. That's why you download multiple of the options, right, of the font you are looking to download. So let's go back. Now we are going to drag and drop this particular one here, all right. Hopefully this gives us the results we are looking for, all right. So let's, yes, just cover this side a little bit more next step gives you the two options i'm always going to go for this then it was again that step is skipped so we won't go back previous step so we can split it and like it's displayed here you want to do same so let's click and drag to display to split i mean click and drag to split sometimes it delays but no worries click and drag to split click and drag to split now let's go on the next step there's nothing to split here so let's hit on the next step now we have given this option so let's enter so lowercase a as we did in the previous ones let's hit on next step once again let's get out of this we can sign in later all right now these are the options of course so now this really matches this all right and if you want to download sometimes it's not a free font to download so what you want to do is to copy the name right here right copy because sometimes it's not free all right if it was free it would probably be green so let's move over here control v to paste the font we just copied all right so let's delete all of this and then you want to add free download that gives you the options i have already downloaded it so you see this is highlighted so click on this 
then you will find the font here right so this is the picture we downloaded anyway and then you can have access to download the font right here so these are the options this are how this is how the fonts are displayed as right, so you want to click on this and download but i've already downloaded it which is this one right here all right and i've already installed so double click if you've not installed yes let's replace it because we've already installed it all right and you might you will need rewrite if you can't have access to the files so download and install WinRAR. then in photoshop exactly the font so let's see let's change it to this all right and drag it and we want to find it we know the name of the font which is of course this bassy so let's come over here and type out bassy and that's it so this is how you identify fonts and how you possibly can download them a free way see you in another episode okay so there we go this brings us to the end of today's tutorial i hope it was very helpful if it was don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed to this channel and if you have any question kindly leave that in the comment section and i'll respond